The arguments are over. Now it is up to a federal judge to decide if a local school district should recognize a gay straight alliance at a local middle school. This issue has fired up debate at Carver Middle School for nearly two years now, and that is where we find Eric Sandoval live tonight. So, Eric, you were in court this morning. Why did the school district say it denied this club? Well, I talked to the superintendent and the district's attorney. They say that the application that this gay straight alliance club turned in here at Carver Middle School didn't explain how they were going to be an academically based group, and they say that's why they denied it. But lawyers for a 14 year old student here say that's not the real reason. And, you know, I believe that um, I did my best and I shared my piece, and I know what's important to me. That's what Hannah Fonin says she is taking away from nearly two days of testimony here in federal court. The American Civil Liberties Union fought on her behalf to get Lake County Public Schools to recognize a gay straight alliance club. I'm hoping for the best. Watching in court, Bailey Silberstein, the student who originally sued the district to get the club recognized. She succeeded, but only for the last few weeks of the 2013 school year. Over that summer, the district changed its rules, saying that it would only consider a gay straight alliance if the club was based on academics. And that's why Hannah was in court this time. I'm sure there will be many opinions when I go back <laughs> to school tomorrow, but I mean, People will support me and people won't. It's just how it is. And I was concerned for her personally because she's my daughter. And she said, Mom, I'm absolutely sure. And it doesn't matter about me. It's the right thing to do. Now faced with weeks to wait for a decision, Hannah is left to think about the argument she heard for and against her club. What did you learn? Um, well, I learned how court works for one. <laughs> this is my first time with anything like this. And also, I learned that it takes a lot to prove a point. And I talked with attorneys on both sides, and both attorneys are saying that they proved their point. Uh, they're both confident the judge is going to rule in their f favor, either ordering Carver Middle School to recognize this gay straight alliance or telling them they don't have to. Matt? We have been covering this for so long now, Eric. When will we know the judge's decision? Well, the, uh, the lawyers on both sides have to submit some more paperwork first. Uh, we expect to hear from the judge sometime mid-April, so it's going to be a while, Matt. All right. Eric Sandoval in Lake County Forest. Thank you.